ice cream lovers, welcome to this session of Scoop School. Nice to have you here. We're going to talk a little bit about ice cream containers today, maybe off-site scooping, some of the tools that uh, work well, some that perhaps work better. But before we do so, I do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is the Chocolate Shop Ice Cream Company. Now, let me tell you, you've got to be careful because uh, Dave Dedman and the whole Dedman family, they're not a chocolate ice cream family. They're a chocolate shop ice cream family. So, you will be very careful that you don't just recall or re refer to them as the chocolate shop. Everybody in the industry knows, but someone not in the industry might say, hmm, are they just a chocolate shop? And they are not. So, those in the know, those in the inner circle call them Cho Show. Hmm? We do thank them for their episode sponsorship. The link to the Chocolate Shop Ice Cream Company is down below. If you want to buy your ice cream rather than make it, they are a great option. Great flavors, great people. Chocolate Shop Ice Cream Company link is down below. Thank you for your episode sponsorship. Okay, so we get a lot of questions about, um, particularly uh, from people who are just like getting into the industry saying, hey, I was just asked to do uh, an offsite event. Uh, what should I take my ice cream in? I don't have a dipping cabinet to take with me or there's no power at the event, uh, what are some of the options for you? And if you search online and just did uh, you know, ice cream container um, off-site scooping, you might come across one of these little fellas. This is generally known as a croc, an ice cream croc. It's made by the Carlisle Company. It's a good uh, little system. The lid is optional, crazily enough, uh, so you don't get this with the croc. And this basically is a um, almost like one of those tubs that you put in the freezer to make ice cream in a home ice cream make. So you take this, you put it in the freezer, and you've got to keep it there overnight, generally 8, 10, 12 hours. And basically what happens is you will uh, be able to drop your three gallon bucket in. It's got a nice presentation. I keep the label on the front just so people know the brand. Uh, and the lid is optional. Looks nice. Pros and cons. It's expensive, I think, for what it is. It's anywhere between $100 and $130 buying it online. Uh, that doesn't include the lid, so you gotta buy the lid as well. And if you see here, the, the, the bucket actually sits up a little bit higher than the actual crop. So you can't fill the bucket all the way to the top. And most ice cream makers know that anyway because, for example, our dipping cabinet over here has a safe product line. If if I filled our three gallon bucket all the way to the top, that safe product line's about here. So in the industry, you'll get used to filling your buckets to about here, unless you have an event where you do want to actually squeeze the most scooping out of one particular bucket. So this will keep the product cold. Uh, it tempers nice and easily uh, for, uh, let's say, two to four hours. So it's a good option. Is it the best option? The reason why I selected chocolate chop ice cream for this sponsorship is because you see these um, real life hacks in the ice cream world. And I actually saw this hack from Dave Dedman. I actually attended a beautiful ceremony of him and his wife, Sarah, marriage ceremony on the banks of the, look, I don't know, was it a lake, was it a river? I was just overcome with emotion. There was water there, it was lakeside. Anyway, they were serving up ice cream, as you do when you're the owner of a three generation ice cream company, and they were using these Rubbermaid um, drink containers. And so I've been using these ever since. This whole uh, thing here is probably about $120, $130. This is about $30 or $40. And one of the reasons why I like this system is because the three gallon bucket actually drops all the way in, all the way in. I'm all the way in. So what ends up happening is you actually do get that uh, frozen or, uh, I'm not gonna say refrigerated, but frozen effect all the way up to the top of the bucket. It keeps for a very similar period of time. You don't need, obviously need to freeze this. Um, you will make sure that your ice cream is sitting minus 10, minus 20 in your storage freezer. It'll take about two hours to thaw. I say thaw, you say thaw. It'll basically be in here for four to six hours. Obviously, I have never had ice cream in here that long because we scoop through them so fast. Sometimes I'll put an ice pack underneath and one on top if I want to keep it a little bit longer. It seals tight, so from a safety standpoint, from a keeping frozen standpoint, works a lot better, it's cheaper. I don't think it looks as good as the crock, so if you're doing a high-end wedding, maybe this isn't the answer. 
However, um, it is a great opportunity to be able to, on the cheap, go out and do ice cream things. Now, another thing I just want to let you know that the spigot for these um, drink containers juts out a little bit in the bottom. So right in the bottom here, in this corner up here, is where that spigot comes through here. I generally take them out straight away because when you drop a heavy bucket of ice cream in here, it tends to crack the outside and that's what's happened here. You can kind of see if you can, uh, there's, a, there's a hole crack near that hole. So if you're only using it for your ice cream storage, ice cream scooping, take the spigot off the front, it'll last a lot longer. Remember though, if you want to put drinks in it later to put the spigot back on, otherwise you get a all the way out and you don't want that all the way out. So anyway, uh, that's a bit of a comparison between the ice cream crock and the Rubbermaid. Uh, good value, not as gourmet looking, a little bit more expensive, looks a little bit better. I think there's some deficiencies in this so far as long term or longer term, particularly with the bucket uh, coming up the top. But that's just my humble opinion. I'm interested in what you think. Whether you use either of these systems, whether you've used both, leave a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. While you're commenting down below, if you have any questions, conundrums, problems about the ice cream business, we want to hear about them. So uh, leave a comment down below. We'd love to be able to help you in your ice cream journey. We do thank the Chocolate Shop Ice Cream Company for their continued sponsorship and support. Their link is down below. As we always say, keep on scooping. See you in the next video.